making berries with mascarpone cheese. And my friend Jordan and Rachel, right? Got it right? Yes. Okay, good, <laughs> excellent. They're going to be helping me prepare the dish. It's really very simple for those of you who, you know, might not be too familiar with uh, making anything in the kitchen. So the first thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and rinse the berries to make sure that they're, you know, succulent and all the stuff, the grit and everything's off there. So let's go ahead and put our berries into a colander and rinse them off under the water. So if you're going to go ahead and use strawberries, what you'll want to do first is take it, wash it off, trim it, slice it so that they're bite-sized pieces. And then just go ahead and toss them in with the rest of your berries. Under a steady stream of water, go ahead and wash your berries thoroughly, making sure to get rid of any grit or debris that you find. Measure out half of a cup of heavy whipping cream. We're just going to go ahead and pour in the whipped cream, okay? And then, so I'll let that go like that. And then we're going to add a little bit of sugar. This is a little, I let this go just a little slightly longer than I should have, but it'll still work in the recipe. So you'll want it to be a, a little less beating beat than this, but still this is a nice consistency to add to that mascarpone cream cheese that we're going to add to it with a little bit of sugar. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, and I'm going to put it into the bowl now. And then... Do this. Yeah. I'm, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, it did great. You guys did a great job. This is really good. Okay. So I'll just we'll just pretend like this is on the top part. You'll notice when you see this. You notice on the top part here. This is what I was saying when it was beat a little bit too much. This is mm -hmm. the smoothness of how you want it. So underneath it was just perfect. We're going to go ahead and take our mascarpone cheese. And we were discussing earlier about, you know, why we use this cheese versus the cream cheese. And the this is uh, Italian cream cheese, basically. And so it's just a, a smoother consistency than our regular cream cheese. Go ahead and take that out of the container. And then you can just kind of... And then you go right ahead and put that in there. Get rid of this. And then we need... You <laughs> <laughs> didn't well, grab in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can just... There you go. There you go. You got it. Just put it right on that bowl. Not a worry in the world. Okay. There you got you it. Go. Yeah, because we're just going to mix it all. Yeah. <laughs> can do that? Yeah, so we want the whole container to be in there. Sure, absolutely. Get out a spoon, and I'll show you a little trick here. When you go ahead and, since recipe is asking for powdered sugar, a lot of times, you know, you'll use your measuring uh, quarter cup, and then, you know, it comes out like that, and then you're putting it against the side, and then what's happening is you're compacting your sugar, and then you get too much sugar into the recipe. So if you go ahead and use your knife, and just slightly uh, even it off, level it off the top, and then hit it so the excess from here comes down, and then you just dump it right in there, and then you get a true quarter cup instead of more than that. So uh, we need, for our recipe, three-fourths. So you want to try? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I will give this to you, okay. and then you can, here, sorry. Put that in there, and then we'll put it all together. Exactly. You got it. You got it. Good. That's exactly what I do. I just... Hit that at the bottom because then it all just comes out in the top. See, everybody can do it a different way, and you know what? It still comes out right at the end, doesn't it? Good. And then the last thing that we have to add is we have to add pure vanilla. So we just have to add um, a teaspoon of this. So this is our measuring teaspoon. Okay, and you guys know how to do that. Just pour it in there and then dump it in. You shot one? Yeah, just one teaspoon, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm hold it. I'll pour. Sounds good. Sounds like a team effort.
There you go. And you know what? Yep, just pour it right on there and you'll be good. Now what we're going to do, yeah, you just put it down because we're going to use that whole thing. Yeah, just put it right on that. And then we're just going to take that and just mix, mix it all everything. together. Yeah. Now the thing is, with that, you're good. You did exactly what we need to do. It seems you know that you have a little bit of moisture and then you have a little bit of the powdered sugar. If you do it too quick, you're going to get this whole mess. mess, powder just everywhere. So then you just lightly put it in and mix it together. And it's going to become this nice creamy, mm, succulent goodness to put on top of your... It's got like a moussey texture. Yes. That's a good point. I never thought about that. That is really good. You want to start? Sure. I'll probably make it. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's just we can clean up. <laughs> Kitchens are made for being messy, though. I mean, you, yeah. know, you get a little nice little sponge and just clean it all up and... Or I have to act clean it all up. Hey, whatever works, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> whatever works. If you make it, then he cleans it up. I mean, you, you have a nice team going on there. Good. Okay. So then all we have to do then is you put your berries. So we'll take our berries here, and we'll see if the, these are oh good. These are good, good, good. So I will take a spoon. I should have a spoon. Just take this. And then what you'll do is you'll remove this out of the way here. Because I know I'm messy. I will spill that in a second. <laughs> we'll take this. And then you can add some of your fruit to it. Oh, that looks really good. But you like more blueberries. If you want more blueberries, we have more blueberries. <laughs> if you want some more blueberries. Put, we need some. Help me on there. There we go. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll take this. And then you just lightly dab that on top and let it just kind of fold on over. You guys did great with this. This looks really good. And if you want more berries on top, I'll let you go ahead and see if you want more berries on top. You can add more berries if you want. So I think I like it just like this. Okay. And you want to make yours? Sure. I'm sorry, I made no, yours no, it's totally fine. Is that all right? Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah, take your... Do it how you want it. Are you good with that much? Yes. Because there's great. a ton of stuff there, too. And then you can... I'm going to pick out my favorite berries. Hey, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Mmm, smell, all those berries smell so good now. They've all cut and everything, and they're all nice and clean. Good, good, good. Oh, that's a good idea. Now that you have it, I should have twirled it around. That's a good idea. I like that. See, that just goes to show you that everybody learned something new, you know, from everybody else. So. Mmm. And there's your spoon, so try it and see what you think. And it's a nice, it's kind of a Hot day today to have a little bit of mm -hmm. just something light, not too. Oh yeah, that's good. That's yummy cream. Yeah, not and too. It's better than cream cheese than regular. Yeah, it has like a, a lightness to it that you don't always get with the cream cheese. You always have to add something mm -hmm. to it to make it is dense, I guess. The other one is yeah. Oh good. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Well, now we're finished making our bears mascarpone. I guess. Uh, I guess we're going to have to figure out what we want to make next, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so let's think about that. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to Rachel and Jordan <laughs> and Heather's Kitchen. <laughs>